welcome back to the long dark thanks for joining in on the episode today got a little bit of an interesting challenge i want to take on um this is called the dead man's challenge which i actually wasn't aware of until recently but uh sounds like a pretty interesting premise um i think it pretty much takes all of the diffi difficult uh, elements of the game and and kind of turns them up to 11 and and drops you on your head so um if you're not familiar with this challenge uh it's actually kind of a fan or player created challenge um, that uh, I think came about through the actual long dark uh, forums on Steam and uh, it was created by someone named kind of smash that's their user uh, username on the forums and basically there seems to be some kind of basic rules to the challenge outside of the the just general difficulties and there is a code for it that uh, you can find online and enter I'll go ahead and I'll put the 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 code in the actual description of the video but basically what it entails is so you can only have two maximum feats and a random spawn location um, everything basically good in your settings here has to be uh, basically turn to a minimum and everything bad set to a maximum so you know low loot um, you know the lowest of all things there's no rifles no uh, no rifles no revolvers anything like that um, and of course all of the wildlife things are gonna be kinda tuned up to the max so high wolf spawns um, all of that kinda jazz um, and uh, really kinda puts you in that harsh environment uh, like I said, no rifles or firearms, um, and then no health recovery. So any of the health condition you lose along the way in this challenge, you will not regain through rest or anything along those lines. The only way to gain condition back um, at any point is through the use of emergency stims. So emergency stims are extremely rare to find, um, first and foremost, so the chances of actually locating one are pretty low. And then... Um, the other kind of downside to the emergency sims is as soon as you use one you pretty much got to hit hit the sack and sleep it off otherwise you'll you'll lose more condition so it can almost hurt you uh if you're not prepared to use it correctly so and then really the only other qualifier is to survive 30 days um at least as was uh, originally defined um i think some people have obviously accomplished that and and probably made it further than that but uh we'll see what happens um i'm excited to give this one a go All right, so here we go, getting ready to kick off the Dead Man's Challenge. I uh, So I actually recorded that first intro to this uh, video separately, <laughs> just because I envision that uh, I'm probably going to die a lot in this one, um, and I didn't want to have to record that uh, multiple times. So um, <laughs> we'll see what happens here. About to, about to jump in on this one. Hopefully we get a good spawn location, but we'll see. Okay, got the quote there from I Am Legend. Pretty good movie with Will Smith. Never, uh, never read the books or anything, but uh, do enjoy the movie. All right, where are we? Let's check the map really quick. Figure out where we are. We're at Mystery Lake, so could do worse in terms of uh, spawn locations. But I'm not exactly sure where we're at right now in Mystery Lake. So let's do, uh, let's get on the move, and we'll try and figure out where we're at. Okay, keep an eye out for wolves, because as you know, we turned up the, the uh, spawn rate for wolves to just about as high as it goes. Um, yeah, I think, so this looks like the clear cut. I'm really trying to hustle and get indoors because, like I said, uh, you don't get any condition back. So as soon as I get cold here, um, I'm going to start losing, losing out on condition. And uh, basically, obviously, want to try and make it as far as I can uh, in the challenge. And uh, so keeping as much uh, condition as possible is, is obviously crucial. So... Oh goodness, is the bear? Where's he at? I heard him. I don't see him anywhere. Alright, so we're already at risk of hypothermia. Still hear him back there somewhere. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. It's really my only option. 
hopefully he'll uh, lose interest in me. All right, so we've started to lose a little bit of condition. I guess you uh, probably just kind of have to take uh, take the loss at the beginning um, because, I mean, uh, I don't want to actually stop and look at the clothing situation that I have, but I don't imagine that it's good. <laughs> um, so I want to just basically get indoors as quickly as possible. So I think the trailers are up here. We'll see. I do see a wolf just right on the horizon there. I want to try and avoid him. He's probably going to pick me up from a long ways off in this difficulty. So we'll see. All right, perfect. So here's the trailers. Um, the unfortunate thing is I'm probably uh, not even going to be warm enough in the trailer to really warm up, but we'll get inside at least and we'll kind of see how things are, are are going, how what we've got on hand and uh, just our general overall, how good of a start this was. Um, and I, yeah, so it looks like I don't have any, f oh, I have some clothing. That's better than I thought it was going to be. I don't have any food or water. Yeah, that's a crappy situation. So I really can't afford, I don't think, to stop and uh, sleep. Uh, it's almost morning. I really don't want to do this, but let's try and get the sun up so I can at least see what's going on. Might be a mistake, but it's basically a waste of calories, honestly. Sun's up. Let's take a look. Hopefully, we'll find something worthwhile in here. I imagine loot is going to be pretty hard to come by. There's another box over here. Nothing in there. So far, we're striking out, which is to be expected. We did lose a bit of condition, but not horrible. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing to be had in here. Okay, so let's check some of the other trailers and see what they've got to offer. We do need to find some food, obviously. Got one can. I don't even have matches or anything to start a fire if I wanted to. Let's get over to another trailer. Not seeing anything. Nothing loose anyway. We'll check the containers, but... I'm not optimistic about our chances. I don't even have a bedroll. <laughs> uh, if it would let me, I would take that old one. Yeah, no, there's nothing in here. Let's just peek under the beds one more time. Hope that there's something hidden. Nothing. Alright, there's one more trailer we can check out. And then we'll... Uh, Try and move on. Where should I head next? The dam? I mean, there's a lot of places to be looted in the dam. I don't know if there's a spot to sleep there, though. That I don't know off the top of my head. Um, and I, because I don't have a bedroll. Um, I guess now the truck that's outside, I could sleep in that, but it's going to be far too cold. Uh, plus, it might be difficult to get over there with the wolves. Uh, I think I can sleep in one of those trailers, though, that's across the road from the dam. So maybe we will head over there next. Nothing. All right, let's pick this up. Need the firewood. Uh, we got a solitary soda. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. All right, let's check the corner back here. Nothing. And I hit this already. Yep. Just check you. Nothing. At least I know that there will probably be some water in the dam um, from the toilets. It's uh, probably the only thing I can look to, look forward to is a certain... Alright, let's uh, sleep for a little while to get warm, and then we'll push for the dam. It's not too far, but it's so cold out that um, I want to... Yeah, I hope that's not... 
not a full blown blizzard. I want to try and get outside with as much condition as possible since it is so cold. Um, I know I'm not full right now, but I don't have too far to go and I can hopefully just book it over there. We'll see though. All right. I wonder also if the preppers catches are here. Um, all right, head back, go back, go back, go back. So wolves really aren't to be trifled with in this um, because they'll basically, they'll, they'll end it for you right away. It's almost not even worth carrying around uh, medical supplies because of that fact. All right, let's sleep again. I'm burning through a lot of calories doing nothing right now, which is unfortunate. And we're thirsty, so. Let's see. Let the opposite way. Let's go up the hill and away from the wolf. Um, who I think is back towards the road a little bit. Let's just take a peek in here, see if there's anything. Looks like there might have been something over on the stovetop. A uh, can. Uh, what the heck? We'll take it. Alright, we gotta keep moving. It's too cold to stand around. far away. I don't think I'm going to be able to lose him. Unless I do something daring. <laughs> Which might be my only course of action. I don't want to turn around and see how close he is at this point. We'll just bob and weave through the trees. See if that uh, delays him any. And uh, see if there's a rock that we can shimmy down over here and get him to drop off of us. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's all going to be pretty smooth sailing. We'll go over here. Question is, am I going to be able to get up this? Yeah, okay. Come on. I think I lost him. Uh, but the problem is, is we've spent a lot of time uh, turning our wheels right here. I wanted to keep moving forward. And I'm a little bit lost, um, honestly, just because I'm focused on other things. <laughs> so we're thirsty and uh, we're freezing. And we're tired. Keep uh, trying to run. All right, this is not getting off the best of starts. Where exactly are we? I just see the road up there. Okay, there's a wolf. Did we just go in a big circle? We might have, but that's okay. Excuse me, bunny rabbits. And I shouldn't be running because I'm burning calories that I don't I don't have a way to replace them at this point. But let's get out here to the track. Oh goodness. Right. Oh my goodness. What a death trap. They may have stayed on the rabbit. I think they did. I don't see him. Yeah, I just heard the rabbit die. Oh, but now that guy's on me. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I have to go, like I can't not go anywhere. Um, or I'll freeze to death. Um, or I'll starve to death over there in those uh, trailers. Let's keep moving. It'd be one thing if this was just like interloper and I could, you know, not be concerned with the damage that I'm doing right now out here. We'll come back. Right, there's the railroad track. 
Where exactly are we along it, though? Let's go this way. I'm not carrying anything. I have no care, like no weight on me right now, so I'm able to walk along these slopes pretty easy. Okay, camp office is right there. Oh, I spoke too soon. Alright, let's get over there. Hopefully there'll be some sort of decent loot. I guess I could drink the soda. We'll do that when we get inside, though. Should be clear from wolves, I would hope, at this point. That's a dead guy. I'm <laughs> just like, what uh, what sources of food can I find um, that I don't have to kill? All right, let's get inside. Try and warm up a little bit, if possible. All right, uh, we're not warming up at all, and that's probably because my. Uh, the clothing that I do have is not even in good condition. There's a book. I'm going to pick it up, um, but I we're not going to have time to read. All right, I, uh, let's drink the soda. That'll stop the thirst problem for a little while. Hoping and praying for... Uh... So here's some herbal tea, but I don't think herbal tea will do anything for me. Um, here's a pot. I'm going to go upstairs and lay down for a little while. So I can warm up. Um, so I'm not just like kind of walking around in here, continuing to uh, lose condition. So yeah, sleep for at least an hour, see what that gets us. That got us uh, warm, anyway. Let's take the other pot. That way, when it does come time, hopefully, to boil some water, I've got two pots. Let's throw those on immediately. Still cold. Anything under there? Nope. Uh, bedroll, nice. Didn't have one of those. I need, like, one more solid piece of clothing to... Uh, be warm inside. <laughs> we probably won't find it. Oh, I just searched, did I search this whole thing now? Just the top cabinet. Yeah, I really wanted to go to the dam. The damn dam. Because I knew that there was water there. And those toilets. I don't think there's there's really no other buildings here that um, have toilets in them like that place does. So I may still try and push over there. Um, I'll take it for now since I'm not carrying anything, but I don't think that there's... If I get attacked, there's not going to be much uh, chance for surviving anyway. So let's warm up a little bit more and uh, consider making a push for the DM. I think that's really my only strategy for survival right now. Um, I could go to Milton um, and you know there's a lot of places to loot there I guess. Uh, you know what? Let's maybe do that. I, I think that's gonna be my play. Let's try and get over to Milton. Except when I get into Milton I don't exactly come into the region at the greatest spot because I'd have to climb a rope I believe to get up to the picnic area and into the town um, which is kind of a problem all, all on its own alright so let's let's go for the dam I'm still on day one I wish when you uh, brought up the like the time of day, it told you what day it was too. That would be a handy little feature. Uh, I really want to go that way, but I 
can't, um, and I would go this way just to avoid him, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, oh, there's one right there onto me. Yeah, look at him all the way over there. He's aggroed on me. What a mess, guys. What a mess. There will be plenty of toilets in Milton. I will say that. I mean, other than being thirsty right now, we're not doing too bad. We're getting cold, but not nearly as dramatically as we were. Those gloves helped a lot. And Trapper's Cabin, I could check that. It's not too far from where I'm at right now. And I guess we're, we're not too far from the forge and uh, Forlorn Muskeg, but honestly it's probably too, uh, too cold right now, unless I find some leather clothing. Um, I guess really if I ran the forge, that would be pretty hot, but I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any matches anyway to start a fire, so I'm hesitant to go over to, uh, the, just the dilapidated house over here because I don't know uh, I thought there might be wolves in the area but I'm not seeing any and I'm pretty confident that, that if they were over here they would have seen me already so we'll go ahead and check it out hopefully there'll be something over here not not hopeful but quickly give it a once over some more firewood another pot I don't really need another pot so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there I've got two on me so far and then let's just keep pushing this direction. Try and get over to Trappers. Warm up there and then maybe through the caves. That's kind of a, a I wonder, like I'm sprinting because I want to get there because it's so cold, but when I sprint, I'm burning more calories. So, like, it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. I don't know if one of those lowers your overall condition faster than the other. Um, but uh, it, it's definitely a tough situation to be in. And I still have a sprained wrist, too, I think. But it's not that consequential. Unless I was trying to shoot a gun or something, but that won't be happening. So I think Max's last stand is over here, maybe? Maybe this is something else. This might just be a dead guy. Yeah, we're not quite far enough for Max's last stand. And I'm like, I should not be walking on this slope right now, but... Oh, there you go. It's okay. We don't need wrists. We don't need no stinking wrists. Can't do anything with them anyway. Okay, sometimes there's a wolf, like right in this little valley, but I don't see one, so... Let's check out what Max has got to offer. I assume this is Max. Yeah, Max. Uh, it's pretty evident right now why Max didn't make it. Okay, man. So sometimes there's a bear to the right over here, so we need to avoid him. And then, yeah, sometimes there's a moose. Okay, it's just a deer. Sometimes there's a moose over there, uh, just kind of in the open clearing in front of Trapper's cabin, which. Of all the ways to go right now, a moose would be just about the biggest slap in the face. So let's get to Trapper's. We'll check out Trapper's Cabin. Um, hopefully come up with some something that's going to change our situation here. And then we will uh, go check out... Just kind of head to Milton, I think. I think that's going to be our best play. Really our only play at this point because we're so far away from the dam now that... It's not really going to be worth it to to go that direction. And uh, unless I find some fluid in here to drink, I'm going to be in a pretty, pretty bad situation. Let's 
check it out. Hopefully a soda, something. Okay. Um, nothing in there. We'll take the book. Probably won't live long enough to read it, but what else can you do? whole lot of nothing in here guys just pots man if pots could save me I would be I would be cruising right now uh, so the safe I don't want to spend the time on the safe quite honestly it's not like it's gonna have a bottle of water in it more than likely so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend that time to crack it um, and I've already feel like I've gone on record saying that I don't really care to crack them. So there's not usually uh, much in there that'll change my overall situation. Alright, so there's a magnifying glass. I have at least now some method of starting a fire, albeit probably the worst one for this particular challenge. Because um, I can't get outside without freezing. Alright, so let's head for the cave to take us over to Milton. Mountain Town, I guess it's called officially. Hopefully, it will be warm enough in there. Could have maybe waited a little bit longer indoors. Saved a little bit of condition. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to play out. We'll see. I have an extremely difficult time thinking we're going to make it to 30 days. Uh, we've lost just about half our condition, but I guess you would kind of expect to start off um, the worst and then, you know, kind of, as you get established, um, get a little bit better. But I don't know that that's going to be the case here. Um, and I don't have anything to light up this cave. I didn't think about it before I came in here, but fortunately I can see you well enough Have you packing any water buddy? Nope I think there's just, honestly, with this challenge, there's probably a lot of luck involved um, in terms of loot and uh, not just loot, but your spawn location, I think, uh, will play a huge part in it. You know, if we had spawned in Milton um, or closer to the dam, even in Mystery Lake, that obviously would have, uh, I wouldn't have had to run around so long before I could search and whatnot um, and get inside and quit freezing. And really the problem that we're now facing is that when I get to Milton, I'm pretty sure I have to climb a rope, like almost immediately, which is just going to absolutely destroy us. <laughs> um, should I toss the bedroll down and try and warm up a little bit? We'll sleep. I mean, we're still going to lose condition from the thirst, but... What can you do? Alright, let's roll. Plus, if we do need to climb the rope, we might need all of that energy. I don't know. I'm trying to remember exactly what it looks like. There might even be two ropes. Alright, because you climbed down one. Let me, uh, let me know what you guys think of this challenge. It's pretty extreme. Um, you have to have a lot of patience, I think, to, to pull this one off for sure. Um, okay, yeah, so we're at the basin, if I don't, if I recall correctly. 
and there's really nothing down here to keep us warm or safe or anything along those lines so we will uh, see what we can do to get up the rope as quickly as possible um, I'm close to being oh you know why am I walking by all these these are huge can eat them at least I think I passed some but I want to keep moving forward A little bit warmer. The water is still a serious issue though. I mean we're not getting warmer but we're not getting cold as quickly. I wonder how much I passed before I realized I was passing them. Oh well. Okay now we're freezing again. And I don't feel like I probably know uh, Mountain Town well enough either to, with this fog, know exactly where I'm headed. Just flying on a prayer right now, guys. I don't think you lose condition as fast from being thirsty as what you do from being cold, but the bad news is I'm about to be cold anyway, so. Where exactly am I? you don't lose as much condition going down a rope as you do going up or fatigue anyway and I don't see a real safe route to scoot down the side of this thing anywhere let's go look on the other side but then let's just probably go ahead and jump on the rope well, maybe this way let's try it what do we got to lose right uh, I guess falling would <laughs> uh, falling if we lose a bunch of condition falling I don't always think quickly. <laughs> uh, looks like this is a little bit lower over here. Yeah, we're good. All right. Problem is, I really don't remember where I'm at right now. Spent a little time in Milton here and there, um, but not altogether too much. Most time I probably spent here at one time was doing Faithful Cartographer. There's a cave. Can we warm up? Is there a bear in here? Is there some... Oh, a soda pop! Give me that. Give me that soda. Okay. Alright. There's a breath of life. Watch him have another one. Oh, some matches though, huh? Oh, I can make water. I can make water. I think that uh, current fire ring is probably a little too... Let's, let's see. Probably a little too close to the opening of the cave to... Oops. Oops. Smash these things. 
Well, this might buy us a little, another day, perhaps. We'll be able to, I'm just gonna make as much water as I can, as quickly as I can. And water seems to be what I'm gonna run out of the quickest, so. Let's go ahead and start a fire. Twelve matches. Which one? Uh, shooting guide. There's no guns. No guns in the uh, challenge, so don't need the shooting guide. And yeah, we're gonna throw our two pots on here, and we're just gonna start boiling much as we can possibly make right now, in my opinion. Alright, so let's add some more wood. Water. Alright, let's go get the rest of that uh, wood. What time is it? Oh, it's getting pretty dark. We might try and sleep here. At least that way, when we leave tomorrow, we'll be able to see where we're going. Let's throw down the bedroll. Uh, come on. Anywhere you want to go. I'm, I'm really not that picky, I just need you to go somewhere. There we go. Cook our feet. I feel like we got some new life. Um, the unfortunate part is, is uh, we lost so much condition to get to this point. Try and sleep as long as we can. I think the fire would have gone out before the my water. Oh gosh, the thirst. The thirst had to have got me. That was silly. Um, I wish it told you definitively what killed you. But I, I probably should have not slept that long in one go. I probably should have uh, slept for like three hours, drank some water, and uh, carried on. Man, that's a tough one. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think. If, if this is something you've taken on, and if you want to see me uh, kind of continue to, to try it, um, I'm definitely happy to do that. Uh, getting to that, uh, that 30 day mark as suggested, I think is, is probably, uh, super difficult to do. Kudos to anyone who makes it that far. Uh, maybe if we could at least get half, halfway, 15 days, um, I, I would still probably feel like that would be an accomplishment. I mean, we almost died just trying to get water, so yeah let me know what you think. Do you want to see me keep pushing this one? Uh, do you have any experience playing this with this one? Um. What do you think? Um, all right, but we'll call that an episode, and uh, I'll uh, if we decide to push forward with this one, then I'll just kind of keep uh, keep some episodes coming. Obviously, next one we're gonna have to start over, but uh, yeah, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below and uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, it was fun to play, just super challenging. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, be sure to go ahead and do that. There's actually a link in the bottom right corner that you can click on that'll uh, subscribe directly from this video. You don't even have to leave the screen. Um, and uh, doing that obviously helps me out a ton, but it'll help you kind of keep up with uh, all of the latest and greatest uh, content that I'll be putting out. So, uh, all right. Thanks again. Catch you in the next one.